Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obed Potato. This is Transport Fever. And this is the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Featherstone Express, which, when looking at it, I realized that it it didn't have a color. We need to uh, we need to equip it with a color. I, I believe that the line is the line is like a brownie color, but I don't know if that's actually going to work on a train. You know what? That's actually not bad. That's it looks like a, a gray more than anything else, but it's not bad. Okay, we'll we'll leave it like that. Um, but anyway, yes, this is the the Featherstone Express, the 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 track that we sort of set up in the last episode. Um, kind of independent to our already existing transport network area. It's not going to stay independent for long, forever, for the rest of eternity, obviously, because we are eventually going to want to connect the Gravesend to Morley and, you know, all of the all of the routes together. So people can really get on my uh, on my transport network from Featherstone all the way to Framlingham. Framlingham is that how you say? I don't even know if that's how you say it. That's not the city. Again, that's not the city. How do I? How the hell do I say it? Is it Framlingham? Yeah, Framlingham. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. All right, let's stick it in three times speed because anything else is just uh, is just not enough to make any money in a decent amount of time. So uh, we'll have to speed it up. Um, but yeah, no, we've already got stations in Morley and Gravesend, so it seems that that should probably be the next route. And also, the the great thing about this is that it's I say relatively flat. It's not relatively flat. It's kind of flat. Um, that's 106. I didn't even look at that. That was that was pretty bad. Doesn't really matter. 106, 120. I mean, we've got nothing that can go over 40 right now, so it's a little bit annoying. But hey ho. Oh god, this is just gonna be one of those one of those tracks, isn't it? Where I'm only gonna be able to. I mean, that looks kind of flatter down here. Maybe we'd be better moving the track down to, like, this area. Would that be wise? It's 96, though. I don't really... Don't really dig 96. I dig, like, 120. Uh, that's what I dig. I don't dig the fact that that's going to cost us more money than we have. Don't dig that. Um, no sorry. But... I think that it's a good idea to bring it down to this level. Yeah, why not? That's not the same track, Potato. What are you doing? Yeah, bringing it down to this level seems to have uh, have kept costs relatively low, actually. It doesn't mean that we have to go through a little bit of a twisty, turny bitty, but yeah, whatever. Who cares? Uh, we're also going to have to do some pretty significant redevelopment in this, uh, in this area, and this is residential, which is... Not deeply annoying, but it's annoying enough to be annoying. Um, I, I think that we're just straight up going to have to demolish a few houses. And I don't even know if I'm going to have enough money to do that. How expensive are these houses? Kind of expensive-ish. Gonna do, you know, that thing that you should never do. All right, pause this. How many how many houses can we get away with demolishing? Like one, perhaps. Could actually get away with only develop uh, demolishing three houses. It's gonna slow it down to eighty, but actually, I'm kind of okay with that. Again, we're not exactly we're not exactly uh, breaking breaking the speed barrier, the sound barrier, even with uh, 40 kilometers per hour. Right, so just out of curiosity, how much would the game... 580,000? Come on now. Come on now. That's... That's just... That's just not on. That's just not on, dude. Uh, turns out that we didn't really need that little loan in the first place, but it was nice to have it, just in case. Um, we are going to maybe need to take out a little bit of a loan if we want to finish this track in somewhat good time, but I'm okay with just taking little bit of a longer time. Alright. Need to make sure that we're lining it up somewhat straight. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? This is alright. This is alright. I could get used to this. We're actually making a substantial amount of money, which is somewhat surprising, actually. Considering... Money and and me don't really tend to go together in the same sentence. 
And especially not the word making. That is that is almost unheard of. Alright. How much would you quote me for that? 51k. That's actually pretty good. Like that... Whoa. Laggy. Uh, it looks like there's not too much land modification going on. So I'll actually take that deal. That's a... Uh, that's a deal that I can get on board with. And the great thing is, is that now we've got two depots that service this entire area. We can either choose to go for the Gravesend one, or we can choose to go for the Elstray and Borham Wood. I'm going to choose to go for the Gravesend one, just because I can. Also, really, really important to note that we are going to have to get a couple of signals in here. Uh, so that there. And then this one up here. Yep, there we go. Just to make sure that we've got a 100% safe train network. Should be easy enough to set up. How are things going at Elstrom and Borenwood? I just want to keep on checking because this is a... Uh, you know, this is our money-making... Money-making hub. It's where we make all of the dollars. All of the dollar bills. All of the money. All of the good stuff happen. Alright. Uh, let's get back to designing this train. Where was it? Up here. Don't know why I need that overlay. I don't need it anymore. Okay, um, do we want the new train? I kind of talked a little bit about this in the last episode. I don't think we really want a new train. Uh, but food for thought, I suppose. Food for thought. We can also create a new line while we're just waiting for a little bit of money to come in. Um, this is going to be called, I don't know, we'll, we'll call this something silly like, I don't know, the connecting. The connector? Mr. Connector? We can call it Mr. Connector. Like the superhero that just connects things i guess stupid superhero but whatever uh mr connector mr connector there we go lovely creative name um still do not have any money to speak of oh now we do i spoke too soon oh beep beep some stuff is becoming available Ooh, the horse cart and low barrest i presume that's an upgraded bus but i have zero idea if it actually is how are these fucking cars so expensive? Like, a train. A train costs 123k, right? A, a cart costs 94. What? What planet? What planet are we living on where... Where, where the carts cost literally three quarters of the train? This, this thing has got an engine. It's got, you know... A fucking wagon behind. I mean, the size of that wagon behind it is half the size of this bloody thing. Jeez Louise. I, I just don't understand. I just do not understand. Um, Do I feel comfortable running it with three wagons? I don't think I really want to run it with three wagons. I think I want to run it with something a little bit more. I mean, 18 people. 18 people is kind of... It's kind of easy to achieve. I, I, I feel that maybe one more wagon and we'll be fine. Yeah, all right. Come on. One, one more train needs to get in. One more train into the station, and then we're fine. Come on. One more train. There we go. What? Oh, blast. Come on, just one more train. Where's the train coming in? That train just set off. You're over here. You're over there. Okay. I'll buy two more wagons. Fuck it. Let's live dangerously. Uh, 30 passengers. We are a little bit in the hole, but who really cares? Okay, set you onto a line. We want you to do Mr. Connector. Stupidest superhero. And there might be an issue with signaling over here. Although, no, there's not. It's fine. It's all good. Bingo. Gravesend. Nobody to pick up. That's fine. And then we should head out over this way. Uh, we are also, worth noting, going to have to set up a little bit of uh, signals around this area. Although, that shouldn't be too difficult to do in the slightest. However, it is dependent on if we have any money, believe it or not. Uh, because we've got none of the stuff right now. Although, we will as soon as, I'm presuming, a full load of passengers gets into Framlingham. That's 300 and something K right there. Or 200 and something K. Yeah, 243 K. Left us with just enough for one signal. All right. That's kind of a little bit tight. And now we're 60k in the hole again. All right. Jeez. That's that's less than ideal, but whatever. Where's Mr. Connector, actually? 
Where is Mr. Connector? Mr. Connector is still at the station. Because of the fucking signal. Because of the fucking signal problem. And he's still waiting for a free path on this little bit of track. So... That's why we need a signal here, folks. There we go. And now it should work for him. And we're also going to put a signal here. Perfect. Nice, cheap, simple, and just in time before we go. 109k into the hole. Yep. But the good news is, is that we'll probably see a bunch of people build up at the station for the Mr. Connector route. Mm, maybe that was a little bit hopeful. Yeah, Gravesend is the one that we have not started a bus service on yet because we don't need to because the station actually does a remarkable job of covering all of the residential area. Which is kind of cool, actually. It's kind of cool. Um, so we should be making money on pretty much every single route apart from Mr. Connector at this point. Featherstone Express is not actually turning a profit. Um, how are we not turning a profit on the Featherstone Express? Like, that's been running for a good long time. How are we not running a profit? I mean, we should be, right? You've got nine, nine passengers? Nine passengers isn't very good. Nine passengers is barely enough to cover the running expenses, I'd imagine. Yeah, in fact, it's not even enough to cover the running expenses. All right, so what's the problem in, uh, in Featherstone? Because nine fucking passengers, that's bad. I mean, we've got buses set up. Do we need more frequent buses? Maybe we need more buses. There's nine passengers here at Featherstone Coach. I think we might actually need more buses. How many passengers do we have waiting in the residential area? None there, but some here. Yeah, I think that we're probably just going to have to get more buses on there. I mean, Mr. Connector isn't supposed to be turning a profit. Third time's a charm is turning a profit now. That's fine. I'm not so worried about Mr. Connector, actually. But I am worried about, about the Featherstone Express. It looks like with this journey, we should be able to cover running expenses. But even though we do, that's still cutting it a little bit tight. There's only... Eight passengers. Eight flipping passengers. I mean, maybe four more with this, uh... Yeah, four more coming in here. So, 12 passengers in total. But that's... That's still really bad. And again, I don't think that we're going to cover our running expenses. I mean, it, we are right now, but by 15k... 15k for a train is... That's borderline not worth it, actually. That is borderline not worth it. Eight passengers waiting here. I think... We just need more connectivity, I guess? More more buses? Is that the answer? What's the route that we're operating here? This is the this is the Featherstone coach, I think, isn't it? That we're running in, uh, in Featherstone. Yeah, it's the Featherstone coach. Um, let's try laying on an, an extra two buses. I mean, I think Featherstone coach must be one of our... I was waiting to say one of our routes that is actually, you know, run by buses and is profitable, but maybe not. Okay, so this is a little bit more expensive. Lifespan is a lot more. Running costs are a little bit more. Horse wagon is not something that we're even going to go close to. Uh, but let's go to Featherstone Express and let's set up automatic vehicle replacement. Replace vehicle automatically. Oh, we can set a vehicle. Yeah, sure, you. Yeah, we'll put you on auto-replace, because I don't think... I don't think these guys are going to be outdated for a while. But I would love to have a brand new fleet in. Uh, running costs, year, uh, value, 40%, age, 6 years. What's the lifespan of one of these things? <laughs> lifespan, 15 years. Okay, so they've been running for 6 years, so that's respectable. Uh, let's get a couple of these. I don't think we, we know we can only get one at the moment two right in there. Perfect um, And let's set them on the Featherstone coach line just to see if that actually makes a difference now the good thing about these bad boys 
Let's follow them as they do their daily rounds. Wow, this looks fantastic. I have no idea what that green bubble is in the back. I presume it's just the reflection of the copper tank. I presume so, anyway. Um, either way, these these bad boys can uh, can go a little bit faster, I think, and they can also carry slightly more passengers. They can they can carry uh, one more passenger than the other coach variety, and it looks fucking ridiculous. The happy chappy bus driver, or is he even a bus driver? I don't really know what he is. I don't even know how to say the name of this fucking vehicle, but it's um it's an experiment. We'll see if it's actually if it's actually going to work out. 20 passengers are on the Featherstone Express this time. That's good. That's kind of like the... That's kind of the result we wanted, right? Like, that's arguably exactly what we wanted to see happen. And all of our train routes should now be making money. Mr. Connector, however, not making money at all. The heck is up with that? Five passengers for Mr. Connector. What about up here? None. Okay, well, that's 113k, so that pretty much breaks us even, right, on Mr. Connector. Yeah, we, we make a little bit of profit on there. But zero passengers coming back? Really? On the Mr. Connector route, does no one want to go to Gravesend from Morley? I guess Elstray and Borumwood is the much more popular tourist destination, but that just seems a little bit ridiculous. Again, we might be running into the problem of... Yeah, we've got 19 passengers waiting there. We've got seven waiting over... Well, we did have seven waiting over here until they were picked up. But that's... Uh, you know, that's a that's a substantial number of passengers. We could probably do with upgrading the, uh, the buses on this route as well. We can probably set up automatic replacement. What the hell is the name of the... Don't fail me now. All right, that's cool. I can set up automatic replacement on that route. Uh, wrong one. Replacement. There we go. Set vehicle. There we go. It's a little bit off screen, but booyah. Uh, let's make them look red, actually. Let's set the red. Let's set them on red. I hope this applies to all of the auto-replacing ones. Unless you set it on auto-replacement. Yeah, we'll, we'll give that a shot. We'll see if it actually works. Uh, lots of passengers. Consistently more passengers. Fingers crossed we'll see a record-breaking year. But I'm, uh, I'm not super hopeful. Either way, let's also do the same as what we did in Featherstone. Let's buy two more vehicles and equip them onto Don't Fail Me Now. These guys have got such an increased lifespan as well. So a, a lifespan of 30 years is a huge, huge, huge improvement. It really, really is. All right, so it looks like this is the... Okay, so you'll just turn around and come straight here. No idea why that makes sense, but apparently it does. Is it worth getting even more buses than we currently have? I mean, that's 15 people waiting at this stop. 15 people waiting. That's a hell of a lot of people, actually. I mean, I don't really want to be getting a ridiculous number of buses in, uh, in Morley, but, I mean, we could three three loads of people like that's that's 27 people 27 people i mean the area is ripe for money making i guess sure let me let me get another couple of these vehicles then one two three more let's be ridiculously ambitious um and let's just set them all onto the don't fail me now line sure i mean i i I don't want to be disappointed about the number of people that we're actually going to be carrying, but if it seems like it's worth it, then sure. We're currently losing money on this route, so not ideal, but hey-ho. Making money on all of our train routes bar one, and that is the third time's a charm. And that's actually the route from Morley to Elstree and Borumwood, and the train is not about to be in. Four passengers! four passengers on Mr. Connector. That's horrific. That is really, really, really bad. Jeez, that is, that is not so good. That is not so good. I mean, maybe with the little speed up of this, uh, speed up of this network, it might make some sort of a difference, but honestly, that is, that is bad. Like, that is, that's really bad. That number of passengers is pretty...
pretty unsustainable, actually. Five for Mr. Connector here. We'd be hoping for a little bit more than five people on the Mr. Connector route, actually. Yeah, I mean, that's gonna that's gonna not be very profitable for a long time unless we can get that sorted out. Which is somewhat annoying. Elstra and Borumwood, the passenger situation seems to be mostly under control here. This is the new me the, the new route new me. Huh. Eight passengers there. I mean that's slightly shittier. Um I guess I can set up automatic vehicle replacement over here as well. There's only two, two of these bad boys on uh, on the route. Let's make sure that you're yellow. Bright, horrific yellow. There we go. Uh, fuck. There we go. Now, are you going to automatically upgrade? Yes, you are going to automatically upgrade. And we should see the other one automatically upgrade very, very soon indeed. And that will work. Well, hey, great. Automatic vehicle replacement. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right, we're losing money on every single route bar th three. Well, the three, the three biggest, most, most profit-making routes. I suppose I don't really care if they're the only ones making profit because we can afford to, to lose money on pretty much every route as long as we're making money on the big three. Uh, the big three being the, uh, the good old regular, the Featherstone Express, and the Great Bridge of Dorchester. Uh, third time's the charm, also in contention for the biggest route at the moment. Although, actually, no. Third time's the charm is making more money than the Featherstone Express. So, forgive me for uh, for suggesting it was the big three. More like a big four, or... Fuck me, there's a lot of passengers here. How many passengers are waiting on the Great Bridge of Dorchester route? Because I imagine that we're carrying a full load of passengers both ways. Could probably do with upping the number of carriages... Maybe by one or two on the Great Bridge of Dorchester route. I don't really know if I want to. Let's actually see if these points work or if there's going to be a horrific uh, train crash. I mean, I know there's not going to be a horrific train crash. But it's worth it's worth thinking about because it's uh, just, you know, good to see if we're actually uh, creating working signaling systems. There we go. Yep, you come to a standstill. And then you head out. And then you come in. So, although it's annoying that there's a little bit of a delay there, ah, whatever. Not much that you can do anyway. Oh, who, this is an interesting one. Ah, okay, so the third time's a charm. You've actually got 42 passengers. That's... That's really good. That is really, really good. Oh, beep, beep. What happened? Ah, this is a, a big new train. We'll, uh, we'll look into that probably in the next episode. Two passengers, three passengers for Mr. Connector. That is abysmal. That is abysmally bad. However, it does indeed seem that we are keeping pace with uh, with the route, the Don't Fail Me Now route. We're losing a little bit of money, but for the most part, I'm actually relatively happy with the way that that's turned out. I mean, I think we should be making profit probably right now, actually. And if we're not making profit, it's just, we're lo just losing money by a little bit. And it's still absolutely worth taking uh, a little bit of a hit in order to make sure that our passengers are connected to the appropriate lines. Uh, how many passengers for Mr. Connector are up here? 23 for Mr. Connector. That is a number that I am somewhat happier about. 23 out of 30 is enough to make it profitable. That is good. Train 1 has reached its lifetime and should be replaced. That is not ideal. We'll probably end up doing that in the next episode because this one is over. Ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching this episode of Transport Fever. My name, of course, has been Over the Potato, and I will see you next time. Bye.